Yeah, in this video, I want to explain how we think about uh, AI use in content management systems, specifically about NodeHive headless CMS, which is built on top of Drupal core. Um, full transparency, I'm the founder of NodeHive headless CMS. So this is a little bit of a showcase also what our product can do. However, um, a lot of these features are actually open source, not everything. And um, yeah, everything is also quite fresh. So what you're going to see is a new release we just launched. So now this is available in our SaaS product. And this is how we imagine the future of content management um, with supported with AI in uh, this demo. I specifically show how editors can use it. So this is our vision. Uh, first of all, we have a character, we call it Paul, which is your friendly AI marketing assistant. So basically it's like a, uh, basically like a um, employee, you can give tasks and then in, it will do um, whatever you want him to do. And so I prepared a little um, demo. So think about it. Oh, you have a website with animals. So now I have a lion, tiger, and also a pig created. And let's say I have to publish a new animal. Could also be a blog post. It could be a case study. It could be anything. Uh, so like a penguin. Okay. So now uh, maybe there are lots of contents. I don't know if already somebody created the penguin. So I'm searching for penguin. So no results found. So I go to animal. And then uh, I have this uh, form and now uh, because I received the draft from somebody, I will copy paste the draft and then I have here Paul AI again, which helps me to fill the content. So I simply paste that and now AI takes over and the AI is aware of the structured field over here. And as you see, uh, it already uh, filtered it. As you see, this is not structured. It's maybe structured with these subheadings, size and penguin population. But the AI recognized the name, nickname was invented, then basically took out the description, uh, then uh, translated the size to that structured field and also the animal. So this was very, very accurate. Um, but actually, um, now I can actually do whatever I want. I can change that. So it's really human in the loop. So I have full control what's going to happen. But let's say I need a little bit of inspiration about the nickname. So uh, let's make the nickname more cute. So again, it's aware of the existing context. It takes a moment and then it will simply replace only that field other adorable flippers so that's very nice um, so now i can hit save uh, and then i can obviously preview it node hive is a headless cms here you could have the uh, front end um, preview if you want to but we also offer just like a raw um, out of the box preview so also about the image i can then select the image here so let's use that and voila there it is so now blog post or the animal is created. But now let's go to Paul AI again, because I'm actually not sure if I did all my image optimization and alt tag definition. So I use it now and I see, oh, actually I forgot to add the bulk text of the AI image. So I can bulk generate even if there are multiple. So uh, I have that and voila, that's done. Uh, but then let's go again back and now I want to ask Paul uh, what just happened. So now I can actually say what was the last content I just created. And it will look up and it knows it's penguin um, with all the yeah basically summary content and what other contents I have on the site. You can also search for content and it will actually actually help you browse through the existing content. So this is super powerful uh, and I think um, this is really something 
we can imagine happening that you still use basically the existing tools, the node form, you still uh, have um, yeah, every, all, the, all the control mechanism and basically the structured content, but it's really augmented with um, AI features. And I specifically like the way we try to present that through a character. So basically it's not like a, a anonymous agents I actually talked to Paul. I know he can do stuff. And also with this landing page, it's very clear what you can get. I can simply chat to it. I can create content in an augmented way and I can do image optimization or alt tag extraction. And we will add additional capabilities of Paul to that overview. So it's super clear for users to, yeah, editors to understand what they can do. And if that's integrated in a nice way, I think this is how we, yeah, we can really leverage AI for content editorial features and content ed editorial experience. So yeah, if you like content like that, um, please uh, consider subscribing this YouTube channel. We will publish much more about AI, about headless, about uh, modern web architectures. Uh, so if you are a web developer, a professional web developer or digital strategist, yeah, again, uh, consider subscribing. Until then, see you in the next one.